Adam and I are coming by the house to, what are we doing? Mapping out for our new couch. We're gonna go try and find a new couch today. And we're gonna make sure that it's gonna fit in this space. So we're gonna, he brought his tape measure. We're also measuring to see what size washer and dryer we can fit in here. What is it? 26 and a half. It gives us quite a few options. Yeah. Okay. Is that the same? Well, now this is going to be wider. Yeah. 26 and a half? Yeah. So, Show me what that looks like in here. The soft space is built for a full size one. I know. That's not so bad. So, well, yeah, that's that not thing, bad to the end of the yellow. Oh, the end of the yellow, not the end of the tape measure. Correct, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> I'll say ask it for one that you can like take apart or something, which I really doubt. We can ask. We can take it apart and then put it back together. And we'll we, we also have to go back to the appliance store because we have to pick out a new fridge because the one that we ordered isn't gonna be here until like September. So they're gonna give us a loaner one until that one ships. We got the Sub-Zero fridge and it's not gonna be here for a while. So it's kind of a bummer because we have this massive space for a Sub-Zero fridge and freezer. And I mean, the loaner one's not gonna be this big obviously. So there's gonna be like a gaping hole there for a few months, but that's okay. So I think having the L on this side and then having it open on this side so it's not closed off from the entry, right? So, so it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. How many feet was that? Yeah, just knowing like how much we how much room we have to work with. So this light fixture, um, when I picked it out, it was all cream beads, and um, they're just a lot darker in person. So um, this is coming down, and I ordered one that looks like this, like our kitchen pendants, but um, rectangular. So they'll coordinate. So um, that should probably get installed within the next couple weeks. Are you ready, babe? Huh? For what? Huh? I thought we already picked one out. We didn't. You didn't, you didn't like any of them or whatever. Yeah, so. they have to be front loading. Front, I'm gonna show the log. Oh, now. yay, yeah. it was installed. How cute is this, you guys? It's, cute. it's so cute. I love it. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at the handles. <laughs> They're gonna bring this tile all the way up the, the wall right here. Oh my gosh, it's so, so, so cute. cute. So I love it. Love it. <laughs> okay, let's go pick out some appliances for the second time. So this is the washer and dryer that we initially picked out, like a full size stackable front loader. Um, but those aren't gonna fit, so we're gonna have to pick one of these. They're a little bit more um, compact. I think that's what they're called, the compact stackable washer and dryer. So this is the dishwasher that we're going with. It's gonna have a panel front, so it doesn't really matter what the outside looks like. But I love this center rack right here. So typically, these are up on the top and they're kind of hidden but I like how that's in the middle there and then you have your bottom rack down here. So this is the, it's Basco. I think it's a European brand. Sing it babe. Living spaces. That's copyright. <laughs> Are 
be so excited. Adam really wanted to go to Nebraska Furniture Mart, and yeah, I told him living spaces is literally the same thing. So we like this style couch. I love the curved armrests. Um, we're gonna do a different configuration now and we're picking out fabrics for it. So I'm leaning towards this one or this one. And then it comes with pillows too so we can pick the fabric of whatever pillow we want. And then I'll probably just buy ones from Target but it's nice that they actually come with pillows too. We have a corner here that is 37 and also we have a corner here that is 37. If we add this one, She's partying today. Hmm. It's 116 because we went short. We're trying to figure out the configuration for our house. So that's the couch we're getting. And then this is the fabric that we're gonna do on the couch. It's really cozy and soft. I know Tatum, I'm sorry. I just fed her too and she's like not very happy. It's really soft and cozy. So that's the fabric. This is the couch. And we're able to get it within, she said, 47 days, which is like perfect. And then we finish here. Whenever you get here, just call us when you call. I mean, actually, you, know, you can go ahead and come on in from your ID and insurance card. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. We have to go talk to someone at the house. Yeah, this isn't until later this afternoon, but I'm pretty sure we have Thrush. Hi you guys, it is the next day and I am about to head over to Tatum's pediatrician because I'm pretty sure either she has thrush or I do or vice versa or both of us. I'm not sure because I know the mom can have thrush and the baby won't have it or you both have it but my boobs have been hurting really bad and it's not like a clogged duck feeling it's this like zinging sharp shooting pain almost like lightning crotch when you're pregnant but in your boobs it's really hard to explain but it's not that feeling that you get when your milk comes in like you're let down I know what that feels like it's not that feeling it's completely different and it happens at any time like she could feed and completely drain my boobs and it'll happen like right after she's fed it'll happen like it's happening right now and she fed like an hour ago so it doesn't matter when she's fed last it happens whenever so a lot of you guys asked on instagram if that was normal because you guys know i don't breastfeed for very long or i haven't yet um this time could be totally different i could breastfeed tatum for a year who knows but um, I'm not super um, knowledgeable when it comes to breastfeeding so I asked you guys over on Instagram and a lot of you guys said um, it could be thrush and so I looked on Google and I do have a lot of the symptoms and so does she so we're just gonna go get checked out I haven't made myself an appointment yet for my OB because you have to make two separate appointments her pediatrician cannot check me out um, they can only check the patient so I'm gonna make sure Tatum's okay and then either way if she has it or not I'm gonna make sure that I don't have it as well um, I have not made my appointment yet though I'm probably gonna make it after her appointment so we're gonna head over to her pediatrician and just make sure that she looks good we're back 
back home now. Tatum is sleeping right now in the snow. You guys, she slept the past two nights, all night in the snow, which has never happened. Um, and she only woke up twice last night, so I feel pretty good today. But we are back home now from her pediatrician, and they checked her out, and they said that she does not have thrush. So she's good, um, but that doesn't mean I don't have it. So I'm going to call my OB first thing in the morning and see if I can get in either tomorrow or Monday. Um, but a lot of you guys gave me some really good recommendations on Instagram. I'm using my Silverette um, nipple shields right now. Um, supposedly those help and grapefruit extract is what my friend Logan told me to do. So I ordered some of that. Um, but if you guys have any other recommendations, just in case I want to try and like get ahead of it if I do have thrush. But if not, I don't know what this could be because this feeling is not normal, I don't think. So I am hoping to get some answers soon. I don't know if my OB is going to be able to give me all the answers I need. I might have to see a lactation specialist. But I wish I could explain the pain to you guys because it is such a weird like burning zinging pain and if any of you guys have ever experienced it please let me know what you think it could be or tips or remedies on how to get rid of it um but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>